Welcome to the Emperor Snowman. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. If you're returning, thanks for the support. In tonight's video, we're going to be discussing Fable Aston. Fable Aston was born to a Jedi Knight around the time when the Galactic Empire was established by Emperor Palpatine. Aston's mother fell in love with her Padawan and the two conceived a young girl strong in the Force. Unfortunately, shortly after this, Aston's father was killed by a rival when Aston was still just a baby. The remainder of Aston's young life was spent on the run from the Empire. It was during this time that Aston developed a talent for hiding her emotions of fear and sadness. As an adolescent, Aston picked up a lightsaber and began to practice with it. Aston's mother was duly surprised having found herself unable to sense her young daughter's feelings. From that moment on, Aston's training began and she was schooled in the art of Jedi meditation and several other remedial force powers. Eventually, Aston joined the Rebel Alliance, assisting in sabotage missions against the Empire. Fable Aston's service in the Rebellion eventually led to her promotion to captain in command of her own ship, the Prodigal. Aston was in charge of the Harrier Infiltration Team, a special ops team composed of herself, Deke Holman, and Tech Officer Arcelius Acosta. Around the time of the Battle of Yavin, Aston's team was ordered by Commander Beaton to destroy a communications bunker in construction on Niza 3. The three team members loaded a backpack full of thermal detonators and made their way into the bunker through a construction tunnel. The plan was to drop the detonators in a pre-planned position, escape before the timed explosion. As the team entered the bunker, they discovered a lack of security and easily made it to the checkpoint. After this, the plan fell apart. Vialco, a dark Jedi assigned with protecting the bunker, killed Arcelius and engaged Aston in a duel. Vialco was much more skilled and was able to play on Aston's fears. The duel abruptly ended when Vialco forced pushing Aston across the bunker's inner chamber. Aston ordered a retreat and she and Deke were able to escape by crawling through a construction tunnel full of stagnant water. The bunker was destroyed and the duo fled off-world to the planet of Isura. To keep their minds off the recent tragedy, Deke grabbed tickets to a local play for the want of an empire. Although initially skeptical of what a small planet like Isura had to offer in terms of theater, Aston became captivated by the leading man, Jaleb Brandles, acting was flawless and Fable was enthralled to see how he handled a prop sword with such skill and poise. Aston hurried to meet the young actor after the play but Jaleb was hurrying off world and their meeting was brief. After a database search by Deke, Aston learned that Jaleb's father was the Inquisitor, Adalric Brandle. Aston decided to seek out Adalric and ask him to train her. Hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button and we'll see you next time. You have failed me for the last time.